maybe the Swiss have it right when they can ban people because they're too annoying. Hey everybody, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings 8 30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. This great story out of Switzerland, a Swiss town denying a passport to a Dutch vegan. Why? Because she's too annoying. I love this story. This is from Yahoo News. A Dutch vegan applied for a Swiss passport. Uh, she had her application rejected because the locals found her way too annoying because she was vegan and way too much of a, uh, I guess, animal rights activist. Uh, Nancy Holton, who uh, 40, she's 42 years old, she moved to Switzerland from the Netherlands when she was 8 years old and now has children who are Swiss, Swiss nationals. Uh, when she tried to get a Swiss passport for herself, residents of, and I will probably mispronounce this, so uh, sorry to those of you in Switzerland, Gip Oberfrick, uh, in the uh, canton of uh, Rago, uh, rejected her application. Again, I probably totally uh, mispronounced uh, the, the Swiss town and everything, but, you know, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Ms. Holton, a vegan and animal rights activist, campaigned against the use of cowbells, and who doesn't love cowbells, uh, in the village, and her actions annoyed the locals. The residents' uh, committee argued that she does not accept Swiss traditions, or the Swiss way of life, so therefore she should not be able to become an official citizen. Uh, Holton told local media that the bells, which uh, cows have to wear uh, when they walk around to and from the pasture, are too heavy for the poor little cows. Uh, quote, the animals carry around like five kilograms around their neck. It causes friction and burns to their skin, she added. The sound that cow bells uh, make is a hundred decibel, it's comparable with a uh, drill. We also would not want such a uh, thing close to our ears. So she's she's annoyed at the sound of uh, uh, of the cows and the cowbells. And uh, Swiss, uh, the, the people there in the town, are very annoyed by her. The president of a local Swiss People's Party claimed that Holton has a, quote, big mouth and that the residents did not want to grant her citizenship, quote, if she annoys us and doesn't respect our traditions. Responding to the rejected, Holton said, I think I spoke my mind too often. I say it out, uh, out too loud. Uh, Holton, who described herself as a freelance journalist, model, and drama student, boy, well, sounds like she's a drama student, uh, has also campaigned against a number of Swiss traditions like hunting, pig races, which those seem like they'd be fun, and noisy church bells in town. What the, you know, this uh, this lady, she doesn't like loud noises. She's a lot like uh, Lubbock City Councilwoman uh, Sheila Patterson Harris, who doesn't like loud music coming from uh, the amphitheater. She was previously rejected for citizenship back in 2015 after residents voted to block her initial application. I love this. Listen, I don't think all vegans are annoying, but sometimes they can be uh, when they're a little holier than thou when it comes to uh, their, their, I guess, veganism. Is that what you would call it? Uh, but also the fact that she didn't want to adapt to Swiss traditions, the Swiss way of life. Hey, maybe that's something we can learn here in the, here in the United States. You want to become a citizen, uh, you need to adapt to the American way of life. Uh, you need to uh, adhere to American traditions. Uh, you know, I know that's uh, kind of far out there. But hey, if the Swiss are getting away with it, I think we should be able to get away with it too, right? I mean, I would think so. And this is not me saying that we should throw all vegans uh, out of uh, the United States. I don't believe that. Uh, I, I think if you want to be a vegan, that's perfectly fine. Uh, it leaves more steak for uh, more steak and ribs and brisket for uh, people like myself. So uh, go vegans, go. Just don't be annoying about it. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day.